there you got it. Hey. So, Detroit. That's right. Guilty Simpson. All day. You out here, fam? Yes, sir. Yo, thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow. Sure. Right See you right tomorrow. Right and early. Damn. Right and early, right? <laughs> Boy, the work never stops around here. You know hey, what I'm hey, man. That's how it goes, though. No doubt, fam. Respect to you, man. No doubt. You might see me in Brownsville. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no doubt. Where did the name derive? Um, uh, Guilty was my name since I first started rhyming. You know what I'm saying? I never had any other name. And, uh, really? Uh, at the time, uh, it was uh, I heard a group uh, out of Ohio might have had uh, called itself Doug Guilty or something. This was like four years after I was into the name. Mm -hmm. I just added my last name to it to make it official. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, you real, so your real name is Simpson. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what they got nothing to do with OJ? Nothing to do. It's just a coincidence. You know okay. What I'm I just thought it would spark a little, uh, spark a little conversation. And people okay. like Guilty Simpson. Who OJ? You know what I'm saying? Nah, you know Guilty Simpson. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, it was a coincidence. You know. Even with OJ Simpson, uh, the project that I've done with Mad Lib, uh, his name is Otis Jackson. And uh, uh, people close to him refer to him as OJ. You know, so when he does his the production, he's OJ and I'm Simpson. You know what I'm First time I saw you it was uh, it was uh, in South by Southwest. Oh wow! And it was Duck Down versus Stone's Throw. Sure it was right. I yeah. remember that. I remember I that. First remember and only the... time in Austin too. Right? Yep. Oh, Oh, go ahead. What's that? How do you do? Yeah. You know, how do you? How do you take take yourself from that name, and then you get on stage and you like put that energy out? You know what is? You know. Um, I think it's just the hunger, man. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, shit, just knowing that you know, at any day a fan could be like, you know what, that nigga's whack now. You know. Um, I've witnessed it so many times. A rapper that I might have idolized might have lost his edge. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not necessarily fair weather to the point where I just be like, he whack. I just might, you know. But uh, um, just that, just that risk of, you know, not, you know, not being felt, you know, is uh, enough to keep me motivated. You know, to keep my pen right. You know. Uh, to understand that, you know, probably the first thing I think might not be the best rhyme to make. You know, um, I'm convinced that a lot of these rappers, the very first thing they think, they write. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, you know, just the risk of that. And, you know, me being from Detroit and understanding that, you know, it's rappers in Detroit that never make it, you know, out of the city limits. I uh, understand the opportunity I have. That's enough to keep me motivated all the time. Now, with so much talent from Detroit, why do you think it is that... It hasn't made that push as a unit. I mean, you have your M and M's, you have your voices, but as a as a move, you know, Atlanta have their movement, New York right. have their movement, right. Compton have their movement. Why hasn't Detroit had that movement with full force? I think it's strategy. You know, um, what a lot of these rappers aim to do. You know, some some of these rappers I see in my city are content with being one of the freshest in the club. You know what I'm saying? But you know. I always felt like being in the club, it just felt so small to me, you know what I'm saying? It just felt like uh, so many more people kind of needed to hear what we was doing. So what I did was I separated myself from the club and the repetition that a lot of these other artists was doing. And I just took my strategy, you know, um, outside the box, so to speak, and just try to think, like, how can I make my shit reach, reach the masses, you know? How can somebody out of state, you know, know what I'm doing, you know, with the music? And, uh, you know, so once, once I took that approach, um, it didn't necessarily happen right away. But uh, once I took that approach and stayed dedicated to it in that format, you know, eventually paid off, you know, there it is. How hungry is Guilty Simpson? Starving, you know. Uh, I don't think I'll ever not be hungry, you know. Like, uh, especially with the music and stuff that we do in the situation we came from, we were so used to being hungry that I can never relate to not being hungry, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, even though I travel and do all this stuff, um, you know, I might see somebody at home, um, you know, that might not have been able to do the things that I did, you know, they, they motivate me, you know what I'm saying? So once I tap into, you know, the mind frame that they might be in, I'm always able to recapture that hunger that I once, that I still have, you know what I'm saying? But um, I thought it was more intense at one point because, like I said, I had never been, you know, out of state. I never did an out of state show and, you know, done a whole lot of shit like that. So well, once that came into the fold, you know, it was just very easy to stay focused. What's the difference between Detroit and like a Flint where you got people like John Connor and people that are hungry haven't haven't really had that scene to, to support them. Um, uh, if you ever been to Flint, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Flint, but it's very small. Um, I don't know if Flint has any kind of musical outlet. Like as bad as we think we might have it in Detroit, you know, I don't know if 
uh, this is bad as Flint. And I don't want to say city wise, I just I mean you. outlet wise uh, for an artist. So that's why I give props to you know a top authority or you know a Bree, you know different people. Uh, Tone Trump, my man's Daru that plays drums for uh, Black Milk right now to this day, and a lot of people uh, they came from Flint. And uh, you know I think we still relate to the same on the same kind of struggle, but uh, at the same time. Uh, I think Flint is a little bit uh, more restrained with what they can do. So I think, but we still breed the same hunger. And uh, like I said, you know, I'm happy to be in the situation I am in Detroit. But hopefully, what I can do can make it easy for all Michigan artists, not just Detroit. That's Flint included, Saginaw, you know, uh, Inkster, all Sag that Nasty. Pontiac. Yeah, most definitely. I got family in Sag Nasty. I see you pretty well schooled on the Michigan uh, hey. line. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. What's